Hello artists, don't be afraid. The ghosts we're gonna make today are very friendly ghosts. All right, we're gonna start with this little dessert cup and it's got a piece of tape. Make sure your name and table code are on there. Then we're gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna squish it up nice and tight. Nice tight little paper towel ball. Now we're gonna tape that to the upside down uh, dessert cup and that's gonna make our form that we're gonna make our uh, ghost on top of. So you have a slab of clay. We're gonna roll it a little bit thinner and make it a little bit bigger. And then once you've done that, we're going to slump it over top of our mold. Now you have to do this very carefully. First, we're gonna put a damp paper towel. Oh, looks like a ghost already. And then very gently, and I stress very gently, you sort of squish and mold the ghost shape over the mold. Now you have to be careful because you don't wanna tear the clay. Um, so be really gentle when you do this. And then you can cut off any little extra bit. I kind of want to have some little ghost arms. There's a few little cracks and things in the clay from bending it. So I just took a little bit of slip and I painted over it and that seemed to work quite nicely. I'm going to take a straw and I'm going to give our ghost a little face. Poke one eye out and then the other. Now for the mouth I'm going to do the same thing except this time I'm going to pull down just a little bit so that we get an oval instead of um, a circle. And I can clean that up a little bit. All right, that's a pretty good looking ghost, but I think he needs some accessories. So I'm gonna take another lump of clay, break it in two, and what I'm gonna do here is make two little pinch pots. Hmm, what can I do with those pinch pots? Well, I'm gonna turn them into a pumpkin. So uh, once you have them both made, we're going to attach them. Now when you're attaching clay, you always need to remember to score, slip, and blend. So uh, that's how they're going to fit together, but we're going to take our potter's needle and put some score lines on there, and some more score lines on this one, and then add a little bit of slip. Slip is just water and clay, really. Mine's a little bit too watery, but it'll still work fine. So I'm going to squish that together, and then I'm going to blend that line so it disappears. All right. Now be careful, you don't wanna press it too hard because you, then you're gonna squish your pinch pot and it won't be sort of round anymore. I'm gonna gently roll it. It doesn't need to be perfectly round because really, what pumpkin is totally perfectly round? Very few of them. All right, now it's time to carve our pumpkin. Again, using the potter's needle, being very careful because remember it is sharp. Um, it's a little bit uh, tricky, but it is not nearly as messy as carving a real pumpkin, that's for sure. All right, so there we go with our little pumpkin face. So we can clean that up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to add a little stem on top of our pumpkin. And again, we need to remember to score and then slip and then blend. All right, there we have our little pumpkin. Now we wanna attach this pumpkin to the ghost. So again, we need to score, slip, and blend. Okay, so we flatten the bottom of my pumpkin out a little bit and then add the score lines and the slip and very gently but firmly, uh, we need to blend that on there so that it sticks. So my tool's a little bit big, so I'm gonna get in there with a paintbrush. And then actually, I think the best way to make sure that this is, is attached is I'm gonna actually turn the ghost upside down and then blend the bottom in there that will hold it nicely okay i'm gonna put a little hole here you'll find out why later hmm i like this pumpkin but our, i like the pumpkin and i like the ghost but i think he needs another accessory i think our ghost is a witch ghost so i'm gonna make myself a little witch hat i just sort of rolled a cone shape and then squished it into a shape a uh, hat shape add a little brim to it because my first brim was kind of wonky and then I'm going to sort of push in the bottom a little bit so it sits on its head. And of course, then I'm going to score, slip, and blend again so that we make sure that our hat doesn't fall off when, we, when it dries and when we put it in the kiln. All right, it's been in the kiln, it's been fired, and so now I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint, I, the ghost is already white, but I think a little white paint makes it a little brighter. I'm going to carefully paint my little pumpkin, get inside his eyes, make up a little brown there to do his pumpkin uh, stem. And then, of course, we will paint his witch's hat black. All right, I think we are just about done. 
The greatest thing about these little ghosts is that you can put a little light underneath. And there, he's got his little Halloween boo sign. All right, I hope you have fun making ghosts. Go forth and be brilliant.